monthly infusion. Zoe has been running a fever for going on three weeks now. Um, at first, for the first couple of weeks, it was kind of low grade, like 100, um, anywhere from 99 to like maybe 101, kind of gracing on that surface. But a few days ago, she actually reached 103.8, um, which is really scary, but I called, I called the hospital, I called the on-call immunologist, and one of the suggestions they had is, see, the flu vaccine isn't really effective this year, that's why there's such a bad flu outbreak. So not to really go into the ER and expose her to that. Um, so whatever's going on with her, they did some blood work. There's no active infection that they can find. Um, so we're just kind of trying to get to the to the bottom of it. But the reality is this is kind of what happens when you have CVID, when your immune system is compromised. Um, the weird thing is, is that her numbers are kind of good. They're like 863. So that's a huge rise from like 523, which it was back in June. So I don't really understand. She's just really sick. Here, show yourself. She's barely able to get out of bed. Um, pretty much, she's passed out a couple of times. She's very weak. Um, I'm gonna have to get a wheelchair when we go into the hospital, right? I feel like we need a wheelchair. Um, so and we have to get check checks x-ray too, which is gonna be fun for you to do. I think you can stand up for that. Um, I'm gonna tell them I can't. Well, you need to because you don't they gotta check to, to see if there's any. They, they, they can do it if you don't stand. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we'll. Do you want to just go into the infusion and say that we need a portable chest X-ray in the room? I just. I just yeah. Yeah. Just we're late. We're late. I mean, guys, can you hear her voice? She can really speak. She's got some swollen glands. So she needs to be swapped for strep. Hopefully, while we're there. Something that um, one of our uh, zebra parents that I know, um, a little girl named Catalina, who's very ill with CBID, um, she's got other things going on too, um, like Crohn's and arthritis. She, her mom suggested we check for something I think called NK cells, which are cancer-fighting cells. Um, I think we've talked about this before, but you know, so with CBID, your your chance of cancer is, is your risk of cancer is quite a bit higher, I think. So, um, I want to get her NK che cells checked. Um, don't know much about it. I got to read up on it, but it was definitely one of the suggestions from one of the parents, uh, from a wonderful support group that I'm part of an online support group on Facebook. Um, other than that, I'm eager to get to the hospital and get her started. And I'm eager to talk to Dr. Bennett, her immunologist, and hear what he has to say about your, you know, illness. I mean, guys, imagine, you know, you are sick. You get a nasty virus for a couple of weeks. It sucks, but you can start to feel your body kick it. Zoe doesn't really, isn't feeling her body kicking this illness. If anything, she's getting worse. She might have a little bit of a good day, but this is going on three weeks now of being sick with fevers anywhere from 100 to 103.8. So... Wash your hands. <laughs> We're here and waiting for Tracy. Oh, hi. <laughs> Please excuse how ugly and sick I look in the upcoming video. Oh my goodness. You know, I just did my IVIG. Yeah. But I'm still not feeling well. Those are de hooked because we just finished. My port's still accessed. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm still not feeling good. And I don't know if you could tell how pale I am, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, tests and fluids and antibiotics. Mm hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to add? No. Okay. I've talked the doctor's ear off enough. These people don't need to hear me yammer. Okay. Bye, Angel. And high five. And who? High five. High five. I just realized that I haven't updated. Uh, I am. Um, I spent the night at the hospital. Well, it's currently one in the morning now. Um, you can see I am accessed and I have um, fluids going right now. Um, that was not a nice angle, but this is miss little stitch over here girl stitch i got in disney world I'm, I'm just like really gross looking and like sweaty and you can see i'm like glistening um um right now i just have a low grade fever which is good the highest it got was 103.8 so i'm thankful that it's not that right now um my blood work looks okay except for some inflammation. I think uh, my, my doctor is just trying to look for the cause of this. Um, unfortunately, it's just kind of how it is with my um, illness. Um, sorry, I'm kind of out of it. But yeah, so tomorrow morning, we're just, we're gonna round and, and think, think of a plan um, probably do some testing. Uh, his his uh, his thought is that there's an underlying cause of all this that we haven't found, and I think it's he thinks that it's like an autoimmune disease. Um, you know, he's talked about lupus, things like that, uh, but the inflammation could mean something else. We don't really know yet. So. Uh, Excuse me, um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I miss my dog, my friends, my family, yeah, I miss Alton, hey Alton, I miss Alex, hey Alex, my main boys, my main guys, but, um, yeah, I don't know. My arm is getting tired, so I am probably just gonna go. But um, can I help you? Hi, I was just wondering if someone could please help me to the bathroom. Okay, someone will be there. Thank you. I'm a child. I can't get up by myself. Bye. No. <laughs> No, I'm not. You guys missed it. I'm very excited because Zoe doesn't have much of an appetite and a nice man named Josh, shout out to Josh if you're watching this, who is a doctor's assistant came by with a lovely tray of Dunkin' Donuts and of course I don't want to miss rounds but I need my freaking coffee or I'm like this in the morning. I, I showed that to Alex and it scared the crap out of me. Did it really? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, so they came around with a Dunkin' Donuts cart <laughs> and guess what? <coughs> so we got munchkins and she already ate two munchkins and a bowl full of fresh fruit. I even snuck a cantaloupe in there to piss her off. And I did a little happy I made Zoe dance to eat. It goes like this. My monitor is happy too, apparently. Well, because nutrition is important. If you're not eating, how's your body going to heal? You need those <laughs> proteins and whatnot. And we will spare you the joy of checking out Zoe's mucus plugs. But you're in a cup over there waiting for specimen samples.
These babies are so cute. Yeah, I have a vlog. Oh, it's so interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Show me about it. <laughs> My whole 68 subscribers care very much. Nice. <laughs> well, hello everyone, I guess, right? <laughs> okay, here. Yeah, I've, I've vlogged my, um, when I f first got the port and everything. Uh huh. Like right after surgery and the whole day. It was cool. I had physical therapy today. I made a really pretty bracelet with a cross, or is it a cross charm on it? Um, I was just on FaceTime with my boyfriend. Um, I have my port dressing. Her name's Penny, by the way. Penny the port. I got her changed. Um, yeah, I'm really, really wiped from. Uh, physical therapy it was really hard but I'm glad that I was able to do it well I'm glad that I was forced to do it um but that physical therapist I always forget her name but she's really sweet and she knows me pretty well because I've been going to this hospital for like three years now um yeah and I was talking to my favorite nurse earlier hey guys um so sorry this is kind of loud i'm watching i don't know how i'm focusing i'm watching my remote's upside down i'm watching the godfather um with um jennifer wow my skin is disgusting jennifer aniston um jim carrey morgan freeman i'm also watching um, one of Trish, Trish Paytas's new, uh, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> watching one of Trisha Paytas's new, um, videos, you know, I'm just gonna set this, pardon me, I'm gonna sit this, this is not a cute view of me, sorry, um, watching one of her new videos, but, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Oh, and I'm eating banana. This is my dinner. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of organized a little bit. I'm a little tired just from doing that. I, I didn't even move, really. I just sat in my bed. Okay, this is such a disgusting view. I am so gross. Um... Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say, but I don't know. I think this, this might be me, uh, just saying goodnight for right now. Um, I, please look at the, I repainted my nails, this really pretty, um, color by Essie. It's like, what's it called? After School Boy Blazer. I don't know if you can see that or not. Nope, you can't, that's fine. Um, one thing that I did notice today about like my health <coughs> is that things are loosening up in my lungs, which is good, which is what we want. Um, you know, which is maybe not 
what you wow <laughs> ah, it's the little things you guys it's the little things um <laughs> okay and we're back um <coughs> I don't know what I was saying, but I just had to fix my hair, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, one thing I did, ah, look, you can see Angel. Hi, baby. I'm really, like, kind of lonely. Um, actually, I don't know if I'm lonely. Sometimes I just, like, being by myself when I'm in the hospital, I get a lot of time to just be grateful, um, I know that sounds really like humble and like look at me but like you know i i <coughs> excuse me um it really does put things into perspective for me um you know like just this morning sorry look at her She's such, she's so good to hug. And then look, my baby got me this. If you guys haven't seen the emoji movie, you have to see it. Alex and I and a couple of friends um, from musical this summer that was in the musical Pippin. Shout out to you guys. Um, we saw this and it was so good. The emoji movie, like, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can like find um like a, a bootleg or something and maybe watch it tonight. Ooh, scandalous. The, 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 the hospital police are gonna come in and like arrest me. Um, I don't, that's not a thing. But I can dream, right? Like, it's a family, we're a family. Oof, my fat roll, you could see it. You could see it there, I know you could. Um, any who's in, wow, that was disgusting. Any who's in, who says any who's in? Um, but, okay, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm in a good mood. I, I get like this sometimes when I'm sick, um, because I, I try to stay positive a lot. Um, you know, like just today, just today, this morning, my doctor, uh, noticed that the color was back in my face. And I was, I was in, as, um, diaphoretic. I think that means sweaty. I'm just trying to use big words. I don't know. Sorry if it's not the right word. Um, but I, um, <coughs> I apologize. Look at my hairy pits. They're really cute, I know. Um. Anyways, um, what was I saying? I'm very spacey. I think this is because like the first time I've talked in a while. Oh yeah, but I, I'm not as like clammy today because I, I think I've finally broken my fever, and I'm very happy about that. Um, I have a little bit of like a, a like a low grade um fever. Uh, but that's that's okay that's 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 unfortunately sometimes my normal um as long as my hemoglob hemo hemoglob hemo yes as long as my blood counts are okay and like my blood volume is good and my white blood cells are good um the only thing was that my inflammation levels were a little bit low my cpr not not my cpr my c i don't know what the levels are called um that indicate um inflammation in your body but mine were elevated a bit which does raise some concern um but that's just you know look into further testing and whatnot um but as i was saying before I, you know being a regular patient in the hospital on this floor that i'm at you know, I have a favorite nurse and 
whenever I see her, it's like, oh, like I, I give her a hug. How are you, sweetie? Like, oh, I'm great. How are you? She asks me about my mom, asks me about, you know, boys in my life. I um, was talking about Alex while she was doing my port. Wow, I'm talking about Alex a lot in this like vlog like boy bye i don't even like you what you mean just kidding wow i'm not cool at all i'm just trying to be cool and i'm not but um no i was talking about like updating her in my life and everything um i'm like that's great but it also like it tracks back to you because last march and and um February I was in a very bad place. I was very very sick. I had a feeding tube. I was uh, I had lost about tw Not 20 pounds No, I think I did lose 20 pounds actually Yeah, maybe 16 or 18 but that was like the period of like a week and a half so, you know, it wasn't, I, I was technically at a healthy BMI, but it wasn't, you know, a healthy way for me to be losing it. I just, I could not eat. I, um, I was throwing up, you know, I'll spare you the details, but it just, it wasn't, it wasn't good. And and, and I remember telling my mom and telling my, my nini, my grandma, you know, I, I feel like I'm deteriorating, like I'm wasting away. And they just started crying, you know, it really put into perspective for them of how sick I really felt. And you could see it on my face, you know, I was so weak, you know, my blood sugars were low. I was just, I was not in a good place. And um, I, I stayed, you know, just on the hall for two months and it, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't good. Um, you know, the the nurses came to know me i got to like you know i got to walk around i got to go to the cafeteria they gave me special privileges because i was a long-term patient i made friends on the floor which i had never done before i went to other floors like as a visiting patient um from floor seven which where i was um you know i, I still keep in talk contact with these friends but it's it definitely hits you sometimes because you realize like wow um they, <laughs> they they know my name they they remember me you know normally you don't want that but you know this is just the life that i'm living this is just how it is i can't do anything about it right now all i can do is just try to get better and just pray um you know i'm gonna do some i'm gonna read my bible tonight i'm gonna you know just kind of take some alone time to really reflect um and reflect on what i do have because i think that's really important with for anyone is to just look back and be like what do i have to be thankful for because we do have a lot and you know i think sometimes you can lose sight of all of what you have when things aren't going exactly how you planned or when things are going more than you planned you know your life is so good well you know you just forget to be thankful um all of these things are really important and you know i'm i'm extremely blessed breast <laughs> i'm extremely blessed and happy that i have one life and um not life insurance health insurance because this hospital stay alone would probably be around 250 grand, I think. Like, dang. I don't have that type of money. My mom doesn't. My dad doesn't. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, Make-A-Wish about to hit me up because... But yeah, I am thankful for my Make-A-Wish too. My wish grinders. Um, I'm going to make a video about... Uh, my wish and what i chose and when that's happening soon but yeah i don't know i'm sorry that kind of went on to a, a rant um i'm not trying to attack you guys at all but i really i really want the best 
for you guys all of my 67 subscribers a lot of you guys are friends who i know personally um and i care a lot about everybody and i just i don't know you know i'm i'm thankful and i think it's important to be thankful even for the little things and um that's that's what i'm trying to do so yeah i don't know i love you guys and i hope that you are healthy and i hope that you take care of yourself um i had you know i just i'm i don't know what i was gonna say but i um yeah, that was a really ugly face that I just made and I just spit.